Privacy is one of those things which is uh, really hard for people to understand because uh, typically the moment in which uh, a privacy violation occurs and the moment in which uh, that privacy violation leads to bad consequences for, for someone uh, often are very far away, both in time and uh, sometimes also space. And so the result is that people don't connect the dots. And so next time when uh, they would have the opportunity of not repeating the same mistake, they just don't have uh, the natural inhibition to stop themselves. It's different from like putting your hands on the stove, you get burned right away. If instead you put your hands on the stove and you get burned uh, three days later, who knows what was the cause. So that's one of the challenges with privacy. User authentication is at the nexus today. And literally last week, the FIDO organization announced that they are now introducing a new mechanism for authentication, which is called multi-device credential. And this mechanism has the characteristic of roaming the keys that people can use for authenticating. So traditionally, FIDO gives you two options. Either you have an external key, or you authenticate using the particular device you're using. And consumers don't have hardware keys because it's not for consumers. And if you just use your device, when you lose your device or when you change your device, you don't have any easy recovery mechanism. But this new mechanism will roam those keys in the cloud so that if you have an iPhone and an iPad and a Mac, those keys will be available in all of your devices. And if you lose them, they are backed up in iCloud. And the same goes for the Google ecosystem and the Microsoft ecosystem. I am convinced that this is the biggest revolution in end user authentication in a very long time. And finally, we'll have a shot to actually um, get rid of passwords. It won't happen overnight, but now we have a, an alternative which finally looks viable. Well, for what we said earlier, we are actually on our way. Let's say that we always had that as a goal, but a lot of the interventions that we made were largely aimed at high-risk, high-value scenarios, such as administrators that needed to use a key for protecting assets, or developers that need to check in code. And those are all type of users for whom we can ask big uh, sacrifices from a security perspective because they are professionals. But for end users, we really didn't have a good alternatives to that. And instead, now with the multi-device uh, credentials from FIDO, we finally have a shot. So it's very hard to say how fast we are going to get there, but now we finally have something which is viable and uh, promising. And uh, I'm convinced that already by the end of the calendar year, we'll already see the needle moving.